Hello, this is Gerald Chong. He's the director and writer for our animated short film, What Has To Be. And this is uh, Jia Ying Li, the co-writer and assistant director of our film. Yeah, actually after reading the uh, Asper Jannam's short story collection, this particular story stood out because it's um, so simple. I think it's barely like four or five pages long, and uh, but it provided a very uh, intimate glimpse into the relationship of the husband and the wife. Don't wait up for me. Please, you go to sleep. One of the first names that actually came to mind was Siva Kumar. I uh, saw him in A Yellow Bird. The vo his voice and his uh, aura on screen really re embodied the character that I had in mind for the husband. And when I met him, um, his personality really gave me a lot of confidence that he could pull off this, this character. Had. And I asked him to recommend uh, any, any, a particular, any particular actress that he was familiar with and he recommended uh, Rebecca, which was great because when they came together for a blocking rehearsal session, uh, there was immediate chemistry that made directing a lot more um, easy. Yes. Yes, I can trust you. So the first thing we thought of is that we wanted the husband figure to be really like physically uh, feel very massive and very stoic. So we can see that we have used like a lot of like um, angular shapes and uh, squarey shapes as like a base structure for his body. And then you'll see that the head is very small but the rest of his figure is like really physically intimidating. Then on the other side, you have uh, the wife who is meant to feel a lot more frail. So by comparison, you know, she's uh, designed with curves and almost um, similar to the curve of an orchid. Whereas he is like very stable and um, very massive. Many times I had my fingers curled round the tiny throat and thought that I had only to squeeze once and all would have been over. Okay, um, so this is our wonderful animation team. Okay, aside from Gerald, we also have Mark, Andre, as well as Eva that's been working with us uh, to create our animation. It was slightly challenging because during the entire process I was overseas. There was a six hour was a time difference. Yeah. So every time when the entire team here in Singapore start work, I'm still like sleeping or when I'm still working they're probably gonna sleep. It's really down to the fact that you know that the director is Gerald. I mean we are all animators. <laughs> but once you know the director is Gerald then you just have to tell yourself, okay, you will direct you know the direction and I'll just uh, focus on the animation itself, like acting and what does the character convey kind of feelings. Uh, for me, because I joined the team quite late, so it took me a while to get up to speed with the rest, especially in the drawing style. We actually have a quite an open uh, you know, environment where we feedback on each other's work and I think it has made the whole animation uh, a, lot, a lot stronger. Yeah. 